Hey friends, and thank you for being here and sharing, spending some time with us. We're just right out the door messing up, aren't we? Um, thank you for being here to spend some time with us. Today, we are going to be doing two things. Well, technically three, but we already started the chili early this morning as soon as I got up and got moving. Um, I got the chili going in the crock pot because I like it to simmer. I wanted to go ahead and shear them and all of that. Um, we are doing some monster cookies. Now, that's just what I'm calling them because they're big. They're not like the typical monster cookies have peanut butter and oats in them. Um, I just call these monster cookies because they come out really big, but they are delicious and they are stuffed with a surprise. If you watch the grocery haul, a couple, one or two grocery hauls back, you might know what they're stuffed with, but um, if not, you'll know in just a little bit. We're going to get this started. Now for my cookie dough, I just followed the recipe on the back of the bag um, just because, and it was great value, chocolate chips, because I didn't feel like finding my normal recipe and they turned out okay they wasn't as fluffy as my normal cookies are and how i actually prefer them to be but i was feeling a little lazy i guess and just decided you know what there's a recipe here i don't gotta look for it i don't have to pull it up and all that so we'll just use it so that is what we did so that's what we're in the kitchen doing this morning i have just been i don't know focused on this kind of videos i really have been enjoying watching them um, from other creators this style and I really enjoy making them it also makes it a little less stressful for me and it um, it helps lower my anxiety and you know stress and overwhelm all, all of the same thing I guess in a different ways that made no sense but maybe you get it maybe you don't but whenever I'm trying to do a video and I need to um, you know I need quiet or whatnot it seems like the more quiet i need the louder it can be especially with us over currently you know doing some projects around the so house this style video of me just capturing you know doing whatever and whatnot um and then just doing voiceovers or including music I, it's usually both um it's just been really working for me and i also really enjoy putting them together um, it's much easier to find a quiet space to do a voiceover than it is to try to, you know, allot a certain amount of time to be quiet. Because if it's not children, it's the dogs or it's John beating and banging with doing a project or it's a little bit of all three. So, um, this style has really been working for me and I hope that you all enjoy it. Um, I just, I've really been enjoying doing this style. Like I said, I am always wanting to learn and do better with things in life and that means that goes far with you know everything but especially with YouTube I'm always wanting to try to do better um there's a lot of times where I always beat myself up but I'm like why do people even watch my videos you know um and so I'm trying to do better for you all that do stick around that I, I could make a video I was thinking about this earlier this morning that there's some of you that I can make a video of me peeling paint off the wall with my fingers and you all would still be there in the comments and that really means a lot to me it means a lot to know that i have people you know in my corner no matter no matter what it could probably be the worst video and you all would still be there and i know that recently i put one out that was pretty bad and i went back and tried to fix it i mean i'm not saying that my videos are great or nothing but i noticed it and i went back and tried to fix it it had some sound issues and people were still watching it and like i had one um a friend on here said that they just muted it and turned on closed captioning that's that's support right there when you can't even stand to listen to it but you still watch it anyways but i just am so thankful for you all for being here and i enjoy changing it up and i really enjoy trying to find you know styles of videos that you all like also enjoy being able to meet in the middle and you know be able to put out content content that i enjoy making and i'm proud of to a point because it could always be better and i know that but content that I'm proud of and content that you also would enjoy because that's the most important because um, there's many days when I do this for you all solely for you all because sometimes I just like to sit down the camera and just you know live life like I used to especially now that um, you know more people have found me in our real life and whatever and this was my and I know it might sound silly to some because you're like girl you're on the internet but this was always my hideaway. This was my little thing where I could escape the world, you know, my world around me. 
And now knowing that people have found me, it kind of messes with that illusion. That's what it was. And it was an illusion because I'm on YouTube. But, um, you know, I do enjoy making them. Even if there's a lot of days that I just want to be like, I'm done. But on those days where I think I'm done, I think of you all that have been here through it all and that no matter what I put out, you will watch and you all are the ones to keep me going a lot of days. But anyways, Enough of that, um, but we're going to go ahead and get these cookies going. Like I said, I only made three because I just wanted to test it out and see how they would go. Not like it really matters. I guess I just wanted to, you know, do fresh versus frozen, um, which they come out exactly the same, but I went ahead and done three this evening so what i did is i took my cookie scoop and got a whole scoop of dough out and laid it out and kind of flattened it out just like i would if i was going to flatten out the cookies i don't usually flatten out my cookies when i make them um but i just took and flattened them out a little bit and then i took a reese cup and put it on top of it that was where the magic came in and then i'm going to go back on top of that and add another full scoop of cookie dough. So it's going to be double scoops of cookie dough in one cookie. Does that make sense? It's just going to make a monster cookie. Hence the name of calling it a monster cookie. I can feel there is somebody here. And he's watching over me tonight as he takes away my fears. Let's me know there's a heaven up there. Yeah, he's reaching out his hand to me to wash away my tears. Oh, oh, I know you and I praise you. Got my arms open for your love. Oh, oh, I want to be near you. I hear angels from up above. They sing hallelujah, they sing hallelujah. I can see though my eyes are all closed, yeah he gives me strength to carry on and all Let's me know that I'm fine just the way he made me. Every perfect imperfection is all because of him. Oh, oh, I know you and I praise you. Got my arms open for your love. Oh, oh, I want to be near. Sing hallelujah. Oh. They sing takes away my fears oh oh i know you and i praise you they sing hallelujah
can feel there is somebody here And he's watching over me tonight As he takes away my fears Oh, oh, I know you And I praise you Got my arms open for your love Oh, oh, I want to be near you I hear angels from above They sing hallelujah They sing hallelujah and then I only had 12 Reese Cups, so I was just going to do these plain, and then I was like, you know what, I am I know I have some candy over here. We still had some salted caramel Rolos, so into the last three cookies, I just put two salted caramel Rolos each inside of them, and then on top, I did just, I had one Rolo left at the end of this, so I took one and just cut it into thirds and put one third on each top on top of each cookie that way I did know which ones was the Rolo ones because Wendy does not like caramel like at all so I wanted to make sure that she didn't tear into the Rolo ones so that is what I done for the tops of them now you could go back through and make the tops of the cookies fancier if you wanted I to did go back through and add just a few extra little M&Ms on the very tippy top but you could also do little pieces of Reese cup on top of the Reese ones if you wanted to. Um, extra chocolate chips, which I don't think it needed because it was loaded with chocolate chips. Um, but you could do that, and sometimes I do, but I just, I wanted, I wasn't in the mood for it. Okay, there was no reason for me not to do it, but I just wasn't feeling extra, I guess. Except for I did on a few go through and add just a few extra M&Ms on top just to play with them a little bit. Um, not that it really needed it because you can see they're loaded with M&Ms and they're loaded with chocolate chips. It's up to you. Be as extra or not as extra as you wish. Okay, so now we're going to get some breakfast sauce, some breakfast burritos prepped for the freezer. I used to do this quite often. I'm, that's the kind of person I am. I'll do stuff a bunch and then I just, I'll be like, I'm not doing it this week. And then I don't do it again for months. It's just a thing. But I decided to prep some freezer breakfast burritos, which I need to again as well. Um, I only done five, I think, this day just because I didn't want to overdo it. I don't want to waste food because... That's not a goal that we have around here. But John actually ate the last two this morning on his way to work. He had a late start. So I sent him off with some breakfast burritos. Um, but I totally lost what I was saying. Anyways, I wanted to prep some, but didn't want to overdo it. And now they're all gone. So I didn't eat one. I meant to, but it just never happened. I know they smelled really good. The, the peppers and onions that you'll see that I add, I'm sure it made them taste better. It made them more fragrant. Like even with reheating them, I could smell the peppers and onions in it. And I really like sauteed peppers and onions. So of course that helps. But um, my pan here was too small for all the sausage patties I'd put in it. This is the turkey sausage that I bought from Kroger. John isn't typically a huge sausage person. Now we all that eat sausage anyways, we all really like the great value sausage patties, but we was at Kroger when I bought these. So I just decided to grab the turkey ones. I thought they might be less flavorful and John might enjoy them more. I asked him about them. He said he didn't have no complaints. He thought, you know, he thought they was good. He didn't lose turkey, but he still didn't think that they was bad. But I just cooked them for a few minutes and then pulled three of them out and cut them up into um, little bite sized pieces and then left two whole because I had two biscuits in the refrigerator from leftovers from breakfast or lunch or whatever from the day before so I figured I would throw together some sausage biscuits as well and you don't see those but um, that's why I left two whole and then I'm overheating my pan here but it's fine it'll, it'll be okay 
um, and I just browned those just a tiny bit and then in the same pan I'm going to scramble lazy scramble that's what we call it that parts optional you don't have to drop the shell in there um, it's where I just fill up the pan with eggs and then I you know mix them up and whatnot in the pan saves me a step and it works out just as fine so we're just going to get these all done here and then we're going to move on to preparing the burritos At this point is when I remembered that I had reserved some peppers and onions from my chili. Um, I had reserved some peppers and onions for this, so I'm going back in and filling those, putting peppers and onions in all of them um, just a little bit. Even the kiddos that think they don't, you know, like peppers and onions, which is Wendy and Nolan because Lily wouldn't eat this anyways. Um, I don't think Wendy would eat this either, anyways. Nolan, we'll just say Nolan. Um, he definitely, it added flavor. Um, and he ate two or three of these. I think he ate two of them and John ate three of them. And they all, they both really liked them. So it definitely needed the peppers and onions. Now I wish I would have just got one because now I need one. I might make some more tomorrow. Um, so here they are going into the freezer like this. And here is that big old cookie. I told you it was a big one. And this is the goods. This is what we all come for when we want to see cookies ripped apart. Now, it, it let me down just a little bit because of the way the Reese cup cut. But um, it was still really warm. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. But this was still a win because it was delicious. And here is the chili. Now, I really prefer it this way. Don't prefer it, but I don't even notice the beans are missing. It was delicious. But that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys. We'll see you next time. As always, remember to show grace, be content, and live blessed. Bye, friends.